Hey guys, just wanted to uh, take a couple minutes to show you a project that the kids and I worked on uh, this past summer. Uh, my name is Brad. This is my assistant, William, or one of my assistants. Say hi, William. Hi, William. All right. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, show you the main part of the project, and then I'll show you where the Arduino comes in. So this, uh, for any of you guys who haven't seen one of these before, is a compressed air rocket launcher. Um, it was in Make Volume 15. It's kind of where we got the idea. Um, it's powered by this little battery pack. Um, you see three 9-volt batteries running series. Um, you know, added a little regulator to it and the, this uh, sprinkler valve is what actually allows the compressed air to go through the, the launch tube and send these um, masking tape and paper rockets um, pretty high actually, a couple hundred feet in the air easily. Um, you can see, you know, fairly simple design. Um, you know, we kind of stepped it up a little bit. We used some styrofoam for fins here on this one, just kind of super glued them on. Uh, this one got decorated a little bit. And then um, you know you can even even you know put a little spray paint on there if you want. Uh, the rockets are extremely resilient. You know this one's banged up pretty good, but uh, you could easily straighten this out and um, you can fly it you know many more times. Uh, version one of uh, the uh, launcher, we just you know we kind of fired it off using um, some alligator clips attached to the leads from the uh, solenoid to the uh, the battery pack just kind of you know touching the touching the clips together um, version 2 I ran um, this cat 5 up to the battery pack and into the the solenoid and um, made a little launcher uh, or launch uh, trigger hang on a second let me pull it out do my head. Okay, hang on just a second, but um, and it just kind of looks like looks like this. Um, the RJ45 jacks I put on it. Um, it was all wired, you know, hardwired in here. I put the RJ45 jack on there to make it more modular and to support um, version, you know, three, I suppose, of the uh, actual launcher, and that is where the Arduino comes in. And that is located right here. Um, so what we have here is we've got a, a toggle switch to turn it on. That's not currently wired up. Um, we've got a just a keypad from from SparkFun, um, just a you know two three dollar keypad, and then an arcade button just to actually act as the launch button, and a um, you know wall jack wall plate from. Uh, with another RJ45 jack in it. And can you hand me the uh, plug over there, William? This one? Yep. And so you'll see the uh, plug just kind of plugs in there. And of course, you know, it's all built into a you know, cool, cool little ammo box just to, you know, stick with the theme. Um, next, I'm going to show you you know kind of the components that are actually you know underneath all this so alright guys so what I've done is uh, just kind of pulled the this is the frame that's inside the uh, the ammo can um, and it's, it's you know pretty simple what we've got here is we've got a Arduino uh, Dias Emilia on the bottom um, upgraded it with the Atmega 328 um, because I'm using uh, the Adafruit Wave Shield um, pretty much requires the Atmega 328. If you use an Adafruit uh, Wave Shield with the uh, 128, you're going to run into errors. I tried to chase down a bunch of bugs, and it was all due to um, the smaller chip. So follow the instructions on the Adafruit site. Um, you absolutely have to have that the 328 to be able to use the, the Wave Shield effectively. And then also I have a, just a screw shield here, just you know terminal shield to. Uh, make it easier to prototype. Um, so what we're doing here is basically you enter a launch code. Um, if the launch code's accepted, um, we've got some uh, prompts for the user to let them know that, uh, that their launch code is accepted. Um, once they 
have entered a, a valid launch code, they can hit the fire button, it'll do a countdown, and once the countdown is completed, we've got this little circuit here on a, Brit, on a little proto board. Um, it's a relay. It's a little 5 volt relay. And uh, it will basically close, close the loop here for, the, uh, for the, the sprinkler valve, and boom, there goes the rocket. Um, we did all this for uh, William's birthday, and what we ended up with um, is, is pretty cool. We made little launch codes. This is my... Uh, badge and, and launch code. So each kid got their own launch code and I'll let William demonstrate. You'll kind of get a feel for how the whole project comes together and, and what the kids were able to do when they were actually uh, you know, shooting their rockets off. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to power it up real quick. Um, again, you know, I'd, I'd like to extend this, make an actual um, you know, dedicated board for this whole project. Uh, right now it's all you know, pretty much prototypes. Um, so actually, let me let me pull out the power real quick. Um, I do have a little uh, amplifier circuit and speaker, but that's not wired up right now. So I'm just gonna use this little uh, powered speaker that I have to uh, to get get some audio out. Uh, it's on. It's right there. It's one, two, three, four. So we'll go ahead and power up the system, and you'll actually, you know, all the the sound was uh, generated using AT and T's uh, text to speech engine that they have on their website um, so it, it's it's pretty slick you know you kind of can create some sort of you know robotic type sounds um. thank you for choosing the huff tech launch con 3000 for your ballistic launching needs please try not to blow yourself up so that's the uh, the welcome message from there um, you can enter a, a launch code um, so let's start entering a launch code and what I'm going to do I was going to enter an invalid launch code real quick. Um, uh, once I've entered a launch code, I'll hit pound to validate the launch code. The entered launch code is invalid. Please enter a valid launch code. So, you know, you've got that in there, a little safety mechanism. Um, it goes ahead and clears the launch code if it's invalid. Um, I'll enter another invalid launch code. Um, and if I know that I'm, you know, misentering it, I can hit star. Launch code cleared. And that actually that'll clear it from memory. And then William, go ahead and enter a valid launch code. So mine's one, two, three, four. And go ahead and hit pound. Launch code accepted for Brad. So there you see it said my name. Um, you know we've got all the kids' names that that came to the birthday party or programmed in. Um, and, and I'll put all the source code up so you guys can get a feel for how I did that. Um, and then, so once you've entered a, uh, a valid launch, co launch code, um, you hit the fire button, and so I'll have William do that in just a second, and once the fire button counts down, you should hear the relay click. Um, not sure if the camera will pick it up, but we'll see. So go ahead, William, hit power. Launch initiated. Launching in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so there, the relay clicked, and, you know, boom, the, uh, the rocket should go off. Um, We'll do it one more time, and I'll you know plug in the uh, plug in the actual launcher. There's no pr air pressure in there, but I'll go ahead and bring the camera over by there, and you should actually hear the uh, the sprinkler valve um, click as well. So go ahead, William, and do do another code one two three four. Pound. Pound. Launch code accepted for Brad. All right, and hit the hit the the launch button. Launch initiated. Launching in five, four, three, two, one. And there you go. You heard the. Uh, Thank you for choosing the solenoid Hulk launch con three thousand so. for your ballistic launching needs. Please try not to blow yourself up. So that's our uh, that's our rocket launcher and our Arduino powered uh, rocket launch controller. Yeah, we'll do it again. Just a second, buddy. Um, we hope you like it. Um, I'll try to put up some details on my website. And, uh, you know, you can, you know, build just the launcher, build the controller, whatever. But uh, appreciate your votes in the contest. Thanks. Say see you later, William. See you later. All right.